A sixth reason that America will not long endure because we are on a drive for the last 40 years to purge Christianity from the public square, to get God out of schools, to get him out of public life. This will prove suicidal for America. In God we trust is not just a phrase, it better be a fact. Because when we quit trusting in him, the foundations are gone. And if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Christopher Dawson wrote, and I quote, The last consequence of a dying Christianity is a dying people. I'm going to say that a little plainer. When a nation embraces abortion, the death rate is greater than the birth rate, and so the nation is dying because you're burying more people than are being born. And when you push Christianity out, that's what happens. And you people who are running around calling yourselves Christians, supporting abortion, you're not. Abortion is murder in the first degree. Our greatest problem in this nation is counterfeit Christianity. Let me define counterfeit. Counterfeit is something that looks real, but it's a fraud. America is saturated with counterfeit Christianity. A man said to me the other day, he said, I know a Christian who lies. I said, no, you don't. You know a liar who says he's a Christian. <laughs> Hello, pastors of America. Slide up to the edge of your couch and turn up the volume. Those of you who got on national television and endorsed homosexual lifestyle because the president did so, you are a counterfeit Christian. You are a moral coward. You are a hireling shepherd. Shame on you. Counterfeit Christians have a cross around their neck, but Christ is not in their heart. 